Hey guys, welcome back. I am so glad you're here. And today what we're doing is one of my favorites. It's called a full body travel Tabata. This actually is what I love to do when I am traveling and I want to keep my body in shape, but I don't have a lot of time. So today it's just going to be a 20 minute workout and we are going to move from a pretty short warm up and a pretty short cool down because we're gonna get that body moving at that whole full body and you do not need a lot of space or equipment. I am just using my mat and I am just using my body weight and we're gonna work that entire body. We're gonna pump that heart so it feels nice and good. We're gonna strengthen in some moves also while we're doing it and we're gonna get in and out with no jumping, so you can do this in a hotel room. This is something, like I said, I commonly do, so it's easy to put into your repertoire and make sure you stay fit on your travels. Grab a sweat towel, though, and a drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you're ready to go because this is going to be a quick in and out. And if so, let's get warmed up. Let's just do a little bit of a bounce and let's open and close that chest. Like I said, we are going to move quickly through this warm up. It's just going to be pretty fast. We've got three more, two more. Last one. Let's open up that chest. Kick that butt all the way back. All the way back. Stretch that out for three, two. Last one. This time, let's just do some big old hip movement let's grab it the other way oh yeah let's do some big shoulder movements right here let's go the other direction oh yeah and then let's hinge down and back start just gliding those hamstrings a little bit Ooh, come on three more two more last one this time let's hinge down and drive it back Hinge all the way down, drive it back, and then stay down, and then nice good squat. Hinge down and squat. This time, add your arms all the way up, squat down. Three more like this. Last one, hinge down, all the way up. Right here, big lateral. Get those sides for three, two, Last one, other side. Here we go. Over to the side. Three, two, last one. Let's talk about what we're gonna do. The first activity is we're just gonna do squats. We're gonna squat down and up. You are to move as fast as you can for 20 seconds. Then we are going to squat low and we're gonna punch as fast as we can. That's what we got rolling. Are you ready for those squats? In three, two, one, down and up right here. 20 seconds as fast as you can. Okay, we're getting those legs working up. Okay, we are done with the warm up, but this is gonna feel like we're still warming that baby up. Come on, squat it down. Burn those legs out, pump that heart. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this time we're gonna go down for a squat and we're gonna punch. Okay, I'm gonna punch cross just a little bit right there. Here we go, three, two, one, squat down and punch. Boom. Punch it out. Burn those legs out a little bit. Pumping that hard as we move those arms. Punch it with some oomph. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Here we go again with those squats. Okay, we're doing four of each. Are you ready? Here we go in three, two, one, down and up. Okay, so we're doing four rounds of each of those activities before moving on to another body part. <laughs> Come on. This one's designed to pump that heart and move those legs. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got squat with punches. Woo, yeah. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Squat it out. How low can you go? Okay, so you're burning those legs out, pumping those arms, just pumping that heart. Come on, you got this. Boom. Give me some oomph. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Halfway through these. I know, not easy, but we're working it. Here we go in three, 
two. One, squat it out, boom. Sitting on those heels, driving up. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got squat with punches. Oh yeah, heart pumping is for me. Here we go, three, two, one, punch it out. Nice, good squat, punch, and punch. Come on, you got this, boom. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more of each of those. Oh yeah, heart pumping. You better believe it. Here we go with squats in three, two, one, down and up. Come on, drive it down all the way up. How fast can you go? Turn those legs out. So we're gonna have a little bit of a break. We're gonna do some upper body next. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna squat with punches and then move on to the upper body. Here we go. Three, two, one, punch it out. We're gonna go down, we're gonna do some push-ups and dips. Okay, so you can do that on your knees or on your toes, okay? You can even do it on an incline, like on a chair or the bed. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're doing push-ups on your knees or on your um, toes. We're gonna go back, we're gonna do some dips right here. Boom, down the farther out, the harder it is. The easier it is, the closer they are. Even if you want to get with a chair, you can dip off of a chair and you can also push up off of it if you want to. Okay, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, push up in three, two, one, down and up. Nice and controlled. Come on, eight more seconds. Then turn over for those dips in three, two, one, and rest. Dip it is. Woo. You got this. Here we go. In three, two, one. Dipping down. Making sure that you're not just doing a bottom raise, but you're dipping from those elbows down and up. Even if you need to be on your bottom, that's okay. You're pushing your body. You're working hard with just your body. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, back to those push-ups. Maybe you started on your toes, maybe you need to go to the knees. Do what you need to. Here we go in three, two, one, down and up. You got this, come on. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo, back to those dips. Oh yeah. Catch that breath. Here we go in three, two, one. I know, we move and we shake. That's how we get in and out quickly. We're quick and effective. Okay, Tabatas are an awesome tool to use. Oh yeah, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we're halfway through these, okay? We got the push-ups next. Here we go, three, two, one. Down and up. Nice and controlled. Okay, I wanted to speed that up. Okay, and I'm having to go to my knees because I'm starting to get tired. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, here we go for dips again. Woo, oh yeah, three, two, one. Down and up we go, pushing through. Nice and controlled. 
Ooh, baby. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got one more of each, okay? One more set of push-ups, one more set of dips. Here we go in three, two, one. Down and up we go. Whew. Make up my eyes water. Almost there. Eight more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, here we go with some good old dips to finish out. Here we go in three, two, one. Dip it down and up. This is it. Push your body and we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do a plank move next. Oh yeah, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, catch your breath, grab your water. We're turning around and we're doing a plank move. Okay, so in the plank move, we're gonna be in a nice, good, tall plank. We're gonna kick that leg up. I'm gonna keep my heels um, flexed, my knees straight. I'm gonna lift and squeeze that glute. Then I'm gonna drive my knee in, out, in, and back. Lift, in, out, in, and back. We're gonna do right, then left. Transferring back and forth. Get in position. Here we go in three, two, one. Knee kick, knee drive, and out and back. Lift, in, out and back. Whew. Squeeze that glute, then drive that knee in. Keeping that nice, strong core. Really working it for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Heather side, we gotta even this out, okay? If you need to, go down onto your elbows to give that wrist some um, break. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift, knee drive, in and out. Lift, in and out. Try to keep that nice, good, strong plank move. If you need to, you can also do a little bit of a quad, okay? To so lift that, and then three, two, one and rest. That's your modification. Okay. We can do this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Kick. Knee drive in and out. Lift. Knee in and out. Oh, yes. Squeezing that glute. Working those abs. Five, four, three, two, one and rest. Woo, baby. Yeah, it's working it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift, drive, in and out. Let's go. I told you, we are working that entire body. Working those shoulders right now. Working those abs. Working that glute. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, guess what? We're halfway through. I know. Woo, right side again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift, drive, in, and out. Lift, drive, in, and out. Oh, baby, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, my goodness. We got the left side. Here we go. In three, two, one. Squeeze, drive in and out. Squeeze that glute, drive it in and out. Yes, you can do it, come on. Squeeze the glute. Give me that nice, good glute squeeze. And then drive for four, three, two, one, and rest. We got one more on each side, okay? Woo. You can do it. Here we go. In three, two, one. One more. This is the last time on this side. Squeeze that glute. Drive it in and out. Come on. Keep that form nice and steady for five, four, three, 
two, one, and rest. Last one, okay? You can do it, come on. Whew, here we go. Three, two, one, lift. Okay, we're gonna go onto our back and finish out with some strong ab work. Not that we weren't doing ab work on this. I know. Just gonna work the other direction, the other side. Eight more seconds, come on. Stay strong, stay steady. You can do it, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going down on the ground. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a low crunch, high crunch kind of crossover. So I'm gonna crunch up and drive. I'm gonna come up and drive that elbow to that knee. So I'm gonna use my lower abs to lift and my upper abs to cross. Okay, we're going cross and cross. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna do a nice good rainbow, crunch it up. Rainbow, crunch it up. Here we go with full crunch rotations in three, two, one. Crunch it up and drive. Drive that knee to that elbow. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. Rotate across. We're working our lower abs. We're working our rectus. We're working our obliques because we're being effective here. Three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we're going to crunch that lower in and then we're going to rainbow it to the other side. In, I know, in three, two, one. Crunch it and rotate. Roll into each hip, crunch it in. I'm still using that upper body to crunch in, and I'm using that lower body to crunch in as I roll to each side, each hip. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my word, I love that word. Okay, crunch it in rotation. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, crunch, and knee drive. Drive that knee and give me a nice good rotation. Use those obliques. Let's be effective. Okay, it's not a lot of time. So we're gonna be effective with our time. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got that crunch rainbow. Oh yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Crunch it in and drive it to the other side. Rotate to each hip, crunch it in. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Guess what, we're halfway through these. And then we have a quick cool down, that's all. Okay, we're almost to that finish line. Are you ready? Three, two, one, crunch it up. And drive. Nice, good rotation in that crunch up there. It's almost a full sit up as you rotate. We're gonna drive that knee in. Use those lower abs to help you out. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Okay, we got these crunch rotation on those rainbows. Are you ready? Three, two, one, crunch it in and rotate. Drive those knees in. Oh, come on, you got this. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Guess what? One more of each. That's it. Okay, you can do this. Come on. We've got three, two, one. Crunch it up and rotate. Oh, yeah. Come on, crunch and drive. Ooh. You can do it, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we're finishing out with those rainbows. We can do it, come on. Whew. In three, two, one, crunch it out. Okay, we're just gonna do a really short cool down, kind of like we did a short warm up because I wanted to get you in and out. You can always take longer, okay? Stretch it out. Always good to keep that mobility on track on vacation. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, right here. Down into puppy dog. Put those forearms down. Stretch out those shoulders. 
Oh yeah. Come on in, drop those hips, look on up. Stretch out those abs. Okay, push into downward dog. Stretch those hamstrings, stretch those calves. Okay, you're gonna step to the outside, your right foot outside of your right hand. Drop that down and you're gonna lean on over. Nice trunk rotation. You're gonna sit back, give me a nice good hamstring. You're gonna come back. You're gonna grab that other foot, pull it back. Give me a nice good quad stretch. We're gonna step back into downward dog. And we're gonna step that left foot on the outside that left hand and we're gonna rotate up. Oh yeah, baby. And then we're gonna come on back. We're gonna sit on down and give me that nice good hamstring. We're gonna come on up. We're gonna grab that foot, pull it back. Give me a nice good quad stretch. Nice and tall trunk. Oh yeah. We're gonna take those hands. We're gonna lift it up and open up that chest. Then we'll take those arms. We're gonna make a nice good C. We're gonna lift that on up. Let's finish right here. Let's pull to the side. Let's get those laterals. And let's pull to the other side. Let's get those laterals. Oh yeah. And then give yourself a high five for rocking a full body travel to Bada. You're feeling good. And have a great day. Hey, did you love that workout? Oh man, do I have something for you. If you're like me, like most women, you're so busy, it's hard to find time to figure out which video to do and when. Stop that searching, I have something for you. I have a 10 day busy woman fit challenge. It is designed to work that entire body to look better, to feel better, and to move better, all with minimal equipment and minimal time so you can fit this in into your busy schedule. All you need to do is click the first link in the description below, enter your name and email, and I'll instantly send you that 10 day calendar to make it a two week challenge for you to get fit in a time frame that makes sense for you. So make sure you grab that link. Also hit the notification bell and the subscribe button so you never miss one of my future workouts. So you can always have options out there. So grab the link, set yourself up. I will see you there. And have a great day!